Lagos government has stepped up a special welfare program with the presentation of financial aid worth millions of naira to over 170 indigent residents. Described as part of effort to alleviate the challenges being faced the people, special advisor to the governor on political, legislative and civic engagement, Tajuddin Afolabi, says as a social intervention program to assist and give relief to the people to mitigate challenges caused by several factors. Beneficiaries appreciate the effort, which is in line with the governor's team's plus agenda on security. They were advised on judicious use of the fund, which was further described as a social contract between them and the government. The Association of Lagos State Retired Heads of Service and Permanent Secretaries has called on civil servants in the state to be more diligent in their job. The president of Board of Trustees of Hal Hobbs Bashoru Bob Batune stated at this in Lagos and Thursday at the 10th anniversary Juma service event at Secretariat Central Mosque in Lagos. It asks civil seven to also show more commitment. The chief imam of the Lagos Central Mosque called on government at all levels to give good leadership that will promote busy communities for the benefit of the people. He equally tax Nigerians to cooperate with government and not to always criticize government. There is going to be a time that a government will do everything for the people, but you have to define in the period of this government is in power. I want to do all the roles in this particular state. is to celebrate and thank God for allowing us to see this now and to lay a solid foundation for future generations of civil servants who will retire as permanent secretary and head of service. Service is created to serve the public, to bring dividend of democracy to CC at every level. So my advice is that if you be dedicated, work very hard. Make sure they support the elected officials, especially the government, to achieve the objective of serving the people. In its campaign against domestic and gender violence in Lagos State, Women Liberation and Transformation Group, WLEAD, took sensitization to the Lagos West Senatorial District, Ilepo. With presence of Iyaoloja General of the District, Iyaoloja of Ilepo Okyodo, as well as executives in the market, stall to stall sensitization with descriptions and directions for complaint. The executive director of W Lead, Olanike Mike Taiwo, said the rate of domestic and sexual violence in Lagos State needs a drastic reduction. She, however, admonished market men and women as well as Lagos State residents to speak out in the case of any domestic or sexual violence while human rights agents take necessary steps to bring violators to book. For the Yellow Jazz uh, Senatorial District, Senatorial Markets Outreach, it's uh, market leader sensitization on ending sexual and gender based violence. So the Yellow Jazz uh, have been trained by Watsi and uh, they are expected to sensitize the market men and women here at Ileko Market. That is what they have come to do to, to educate them on the position of the law when it comes to gender-based violence and also to tell the women not to keep quiet to be able to speak out when they are experiencing a form of violence so that they don't lose their life or have ill health or something that will uh, give them mental depression and all that. So that's why they have come here today to educate them. Well, it's, it's something that a lot of people do not talk about. So this is like an outreach to people that we know that it happens and we're giving them a, a, like an opportunity to come out. In every flyer and every poster that we're sharing to these women, back at people here, there's a number there that they can call if they, they know someone or if they're experiencing sexual harassment, domestic violence, any gender, male or female, because male as well. 
Friends and associates of Dr. Tude Orije on Thursday converge at the Achievers Table and Ikeja Club all to celebrate his recent appointment as the Managing Director of Northern Cable Processing and Manufacturing Company Limited, Nokako, Kaduna, as well as Executive Director of Cable Metal Nigeria, Kabel Metal Nigeria, sorry. Dr. Rija being the first Indigenous Managing Director of Nokako, cabling since his assistance of close to six decades in Nigeria. On his progress and successes over several decades, friends and associates described Dr. Origi as an hardworking and diligent calm in all endeavors. However, Dr. Tunde Oji Origi rather attacked his sources as the grace of Almighty God. The president of Ikeja Club, Are Musa Diku Adeleke, described the new mantle of leadership by Dr. Origi as a groundbreaking one being the first in Africa and Nigeria to spearhead activities of the reputable Keblin. Uh, company since its inception. However, Dr. Babatu Dorija feels pleased and excited with challenges ahead, hoping they will contribute to more growth in Nonako. Speaking from the perspective of uh, his microeconomics background, the new MD said recent few subsidy removal and other policies by the administration, President Bola Tinumbu, would arrest deficiencies and functionalities in Nigeria's economy. The first Emergency uh, Director in Nigeria. He refers in uh, Africa as a whole, but uh, I pray to him, whatever he wants to do, God will be with him. Well, as a first Africa, you, you have to praise him and praise God that uh, by, the, by, by, the, by the power on him, God will help him to, to reach where he is wish to, uh, to go. So I wish him good luck. I'm excited with the challenges that come with those kind of uh, situation. And the fact that we have um, new frontiers to conquer, new, new dimensions to introduce, and to also be, to be able to bring the company up to the level that we want. Based on the industry and the possibility to be able to adapt between foreign-based materials and local-based materials, we, can, we, we expect to see a stabilization, not in the short time, in the long run. And because we want to run the company for a definite long period of time, you expect things over time to develop. So we are patiently looking at the directives. But government has to take care of the grassroots, the people. Where there are too much sufferings, too much um, backlash as a result of the impact of these policies. The authority is, is human being. And when you say somebody is human being, it incorporates so many things. Humility, character, dignity, calmness, and epitome of responsibility is a good leader. He knows how to make people happy. And even to me, being my junior brother, I want to eliminate him. He has just finished his PhD. Probably to myself, we go for that PhD again. Dr. Babatunde John Orija. He's a man that has come a long way and uh, he has actually done so well, especially when you look at his background and where he is today. But as, yeah, through determination and hard work, he's been able to move from grass to, to grace. So I sincerely appreciate his doggedness his determination, his hard work. That's all from the local scene. We go on a quick break to bring you foreign stories. Please stay with us.
this is MIT Ever News. Now to foreign storage. At least one person is reported dead while firefighters battled a blaze at the base in Sevastopol and more emergencies. Forces were being brought in to deal with the emergency. A Russian official said Ukraine carried out a fiery missile strike Friday on the main headquarters of Russia's Black Sea fleet. Videos and photos showed large plumes of smoke over the building in Sevastopol in annexed Crimea. At least one person is reported dead while firefighters battled a blaze at the base and more emergency forces were being brought in according to local Russian officials, a uh, sign that the fire could be massive. In the meantime, U.S. President Joe Biden has announced that America will provide Ukraine with an additional $325 million in military and to support in the war against Russia following the invasion since last year. President Biden made the announcement during a White House meeting with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. The package includes air defense capabilities, clusters, munitions, anti-tank weapons, and other equipment. The announcement was made during Zelensky's VC to Washington, D.C., where he appealed to lawmakers and administration officials for more assistance. The entire world has a stone stands in the way of peace. It could end this today. Instead, Russia is seeking more weapons from Iran and North Korea that would violate multiple UN Security Council resolutions that Moscow itself voted to put in place. The people of Ukraine are steeled for this struggle ahead, and the United States is going to continue to stand with you. Today, I approve the next tranche of U.S. security assistance to Ukraine, including more artillery, more ammunition, more anti-tank weapons, and next week, the first U.S. Abrams tanks will be delivered to Ukraine. We also focused on strengthening Ukraine's air defense capabilities. And that's all from the foreign chain. We'll go on another quick break to bring you sport report. Please stay with us. It's the Premier League all on DSTV. All the goals, all the clashes, all the moments. All of Rashford, Salah, and Saka. All in the language of your choice. All in HD. Available on all these bouquets to choose from. To watch on all these devices. Stay connected for all the action. Get DSTV with an HD decoder. Plus dish, plus one month confirmed for 18,500 Naira. It's the Premier League. All on DSTV. You're still watching MIT every primetime news. Now talk and sport. Germany have appointed Julian Nagelsmann as manager on the contract until July 2024. So seated and so flee. We were sat after a poor run of result, culminating a 4 win, a 4 1 friendly defeat by Japan earlier this month. Nagelsmann has been out of work since it was sacked by Bayern Munich in March after less than two years in charge. Germany are host of next summer's European Championship Finals, which will run from 14th of June to July 14, 2024. The 36-year-old first match in charge will be a friendly against United States in Connecticut in 14, on 14 October before facing Mexico in Philadelphia three days later. In a related development, Barcelona court survey announced Friday that his contract extension with the Spanish champions had been confirmed and will be made official as short advertisement. The former backer midfielder who took over his coach in 2021 will extend his contract by one season on the 2025. Savi led the club to their first La Liga title since 2019 and the Spanish Super Cup last season. Savi said Baca had just achieved their two best matches since they took over with 5 nils win against both Real Betis in La Liga and Roya Antwerp in the Champions League group stage. Savi took over from Ronald Coleman two years after his retirement as a player on a contract until June 2024. And with that is the end of the primetime news tonight. But before we draw the curtain, a quick recap of our top stories.
President Tidumbu tax Nigerians in diaspora to shift mindset on settling in Nigeria. Military rescues six students after bandit invasion of Zamfara community. From the foreign scene, we told you that Ukraine bombarded Russian Black Sea Navy headquarters in occupied Crimea. From the world of sports, Germany appointed Julian Nagelsmann as coach. And with that, we draw the court in on the primetime news tonight. From the entire news crew, I am Teresa at AME. Do have a great night. Good night.